as we are planning and preparing and hoping to go back into the church house, I am wondering what it is going to be like. Amen. I'm wondering how many people will be coming back to the house of worship. Mm -hmm. Some people put fear before, praise God, and so fear takes over, praise God. And it was like Elijah who was doing such wonderful work for the Lord and he got fearful because of a threat. Yes. And he ran away. And he spent, spent some time, he spent some time over in, all by himself under the broom tree. And he even <laughs> asked God to take his life because of fear, because the work got so hard. Things got tough. Yes. Elijah. And so today, there it is no different. When the work gets hard on you, when the work of God gets hard on you, when the time gets tough and it gets lonesome, we have to remember that we were commissioned to go out and to build the kingdom of God. Put away fear, put away doubt, but we should go out and to build the kingdom of God. That's what we were commissioned to do. Mm. And so yeah. brethren, let us prepare to go back in force, go back in full force after we have gotten the go ahead to do so. Let us go back. Let's not only go back, but let us bring people with us, people who have never gone into the church house, people who maybe didn't know God, let us go out searching for them, seeking them to bring them back into the, 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 the house of God. Last Friday, brethren, I was moved with compassion. My wife and myself, we were out on the road doing business and um, while I was driving, I saw a few homeless people right in my neighborhood. I saw some homeless people and I, 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 I stopped and I said, oh my God, they look so hungry. They look like they need help. And I was moved with compassion and I said to my wife, I wish we could feed them, they look hungry. And Bridget and I, we went to the store and we do a, some quick buying. We bought, we bought some chicken and some seasoning and, we, I, and she said, you, you're going to have to cook. I said, I, no problem. I came home and I cooked some food and I parceled it and I went back out on the road. But when I went back out there, I saw only one. I don't know if they had moved them from the street or what but I saw only one and I gave the food to him and he was so thankful. He said, oh Jesus, that's all he said. And he took the food. Brethren, why I'm saying this, I'm saying we are children of God. There must be some compassion in us. Compassion, yes. And so whatever you can do, when you see someone, let us go out and search for them and give them something. Yes. It doesn't take much. Mm. A little rice, a little piece of chicken. With yes. Some it doesn't take much. Let us work the work of him who sent us. 
Yes, Lord. God, Jesus was always feeding the people. He is always feeding the multitude. Let us do likewise. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. God, we come again. Here is your son, O oh God, who is about to deliver. I pray, mighty God, that you will hide him behind the cross. Yes, Jesus. I pray, mighty God, that you will touch his lips. Yes, Lord. O oh God, so that he will speak as the prophets of old yes. in a modern world, Almighty Savior. Yes, Jesus. I pray, dear God, that your people will be receptive mm -hmm. of the spoken word. And so that it will be used, not just for ourselves, but to benefit others. Yes. Bless him today. Touch him, mighty God. Touch every heart that are here today. And those that are listening, on, oh God, on the airwaves, oh mighty Savior. Oh, make it clear, oh mighty God, to Lord. your people today. These are the mercies we ask your Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Lord. Church of God, I present to you Pastor Brand. Pastor Brand, the Church of God in Jesus. Name. Praise the Lord. Thanks unto the Lord for his good and for his mercies endure it forever. Amen. 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 The that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. Amen. Truly, I give honor to God who is the head of my life, to our overseer, Bishop Folks, and to his wonderful wife, to my pastor, Pastor Spence, Angela Spence, and to my special right hand. She's my shoulder. She's my neck. Evangelist Brian, to uh, Minister Bird. Bird. To all the brethren, Sister Osborne, and to all the brethren that uh, came on, I really don't see all the faces, but there's a couple of people on that took the time based on my invitation. I appreciate you so much for taking the time to link up to hear the word of God today. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, truly, uh, if you have your Bibles quickly, turn to the book of Psalms, the 13th chapter. Book of Psalms. Chapter number 13. Let the word of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Redeemer. I'll be waiting today in Jesus' name. Amen. Book of Psalms, chapter 13. Are you there? Amen. Yeah, yes. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? Mm. How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? Mm. How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall my enemy, enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Yes. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. Yes. But I have trust in thy mercy, my heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated. I use for a subject, if you will. Where is God when I need him the most? Hmm. Let me say this again. Where is God when I really need him the most? David is the writer of this portion of scripture. And most scholar will say David wrote this song or this psalms when he was running away from Saul or possible running away from his son Absalom who seek to kill him. Yes. But regardless of the circumstances that surround David, why David is crying out. 
he tells us that David found himself in a situation where he's calling on God and it seemed like God is nowhere to be found. He found, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yes. And four times in this portion of scripture, we see David is saying, How long? How oh, long? He I says, How long mm -hmm. will you forget me? He says, How long will you hide your face from me? Yes. He says, How long will I take counsel in my soul? How long will my enemy exalt it? over me is asking the question in his prayer or in his song mm -hmm. you say to yourself that david who i believe at this point already proven god over and over yes you know david is, is the same david who the bible says describe him and said david had a heart after god after god we know that david was a shepherd but we know that david slew goliath we yes. know part of his resume that he killed the lion and he killed the bear. You no know, life turns upside down. And now David is seeking for God and it seems like God is nowhere to be found. Amen. His words, his words that he's praying or his word that he's singing. Is, is, is subjective, meaning it's based on how he feels. Oh, yes. Because of what is happening in his life, he feels that God is nowhere to be found. Yes. And sometimes life itself is so complex, and sometimes if we're not careful, we would always think sometimes that where is God when we need him the most? That's right. Thank right, God. Maybe you experience God when you're a teenager. Maybe you experience God in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 60s. But, but now I'm in my 70s and it seems like God is nowhere to be found. Hey, mighty God. It seems like, like, like God used to, used to answer my request. But for whatever reason, it seems like my prayers is not being answered. Where is God when I need him the most? Praise mm. God. Oh, it seems like God is not supplying my needs. Yes. All this lack and chaos that's in my life, the question is, where is God? God. Oh, yeah. David is in that place where his life is so complex. And he's asking a question based on how he feels. How long? Become subjective. Oh, yeah. Because based on what is happening, he questions God. Where is God? in my dilemma. Mm -hmm. And if you've never mm -hmm. feel that way before, God bless you. Sometimes I feel like God Almighty is taking long to answer. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 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 I can understand, I can understand what David is facing because David had an encounter with God, but it seems like what is happening to David now, David have a feeling that God has abandoned him. Mm. And he's Thank asking, God. he says, how long you have forgotten me? He says, how long you hide your faith from me? He says, how long shall I take counsel in my soul? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? He has a specific problem. Something yes. was trying to get David. Yes. Yes. And David is seeking God. There was an enemy. There's an enemy that, that was trying to get David. And David is making his request, and it seems like God is not coming on his behalf. Hey. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. My God. Maybe the enemy you're facing is the pandemic. Maybe the enemy you're facing is, 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 is a lack of financing. Maybe the enemy that you're facing today is, is, is a medical condition. Yes. Oh, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. yes. Amen. Praise God. And it's hard when, when you have a situation and as a believer, you, you know the word of God, but somehow you feel like God is not coming to your rescue. It's not easy. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's right. The doctor, and the doctor gives you a report. Bad report. But I love Isaiah. He says, whose report shall you believe? Oh, yeah. That's right. right. And so David is based on his own feeling. David, apparently in this moment, David had forgotten the word of God. 
Yeah. Yeah. Bible said the ground sweet and the flow of faith, but my word stand forever. Amen. 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 Yes. God is yes. not based on how you feel. Yes. Amen. Our feelings have nothing to do with the word of God. Amen. So he started out in this song. He started out and he's asking, where is God? Where is God in my desperation? And he lists all the things that he's faced with. Yes. But as he goes on, he says here in verse 3, he says, consider and hear me. Mm. Why would he say my God. consider yes. and hear me? Because David knew that God can hear. He hears. And That's God right. Can hear, why is God not answering my petition? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Praise God. And he said, God, lighten my eyes. It means that David was crying. Hey! David apparently was crying because David had something that he needed God to come to his rescue. And for some reason, God is nowhere to be found. Amen. Praise the Lord. And David is not a wimp. David just being real. Amen. And we need to be real as Christians. That's right. David is not on Facebook trying to Google a solution for his problem. Mm. David is not on the internet trying to find friends. That's right. He's yeah. seeking God because he has a problem. He's in desperate need for God. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's all right. And he said, God, I'm asking to lighten my eyes because yeah. I feel like I'm going to die. He says, I need your help, lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him. Oh, oh, my God. The media, the news tell you about the pandemic. And let it become your feeling and you disregard the promises or the word of God, you have a serious problem. That's right. That's right. Oh. Praise God. The psalmist says, thy word are embedded yeah. in my heart. He says, thy word I've kept in my heart. Yes. That means when difficult comes in my life. Yes. Yes. Oh, that Hallelujah. God is not a man yes. that he should lie. Neither is God a man that he should repent. If yes. he says in his word, God is obligated to answer my petition. Even though I can't trace God, even though I can't feel him, the church need to know that God said I will never leave you, not forsake, not forsake you. you. Praise oh, yeah. God. Amen. He's That's not right. based on how you and I feel. True. Subjective right. in his conversation. Because he's asking the question, where is God? Yeah. And so if you want the Bible quickly, let's look at something here in 1 Samuel, the first chapter, verse number 10. Quickly, quickly. First Samuel chapter 10. Let's look at a couple of verses there. Verse number 10 and number 12. Are you there? Yes. Yes. Samuel chapter 10. First Samuel chapter 1. I'm sorry. First Samuel chapter 1, verse number 10. Okay, First Samuel chapter 1, reading verse 10 and 11. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man-child, then I will give unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no razor on the earth. And verse 19 and 20, and they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned and came to their house of Ramah and Elkanah knew Anna is wife, and the Lord remembered her. Wherefore it come to pass, when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, 
that she bear a son and call his name Samuel, saying, because I have asked him of the Lord. Amen. Amen. So this portion of scripture is, 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 is very interesting. And so when you look at Anna, she's, she's a woman of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. But she had a problem, and the problem is that she could not conceive and yes. have a baby. And so the Bible let us know that, that while she was struggling to have a baby, she still had a worship and she still had a praise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. The Bible said she, she, she did something interesting. He says, and she was in bitterness of soul. However, mm -hmm. she prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And right. she said, Lord, look on my affliction. It means that she, she was in desperation to have a child. Yes. Right. Amen. And in those days when you're a woman and you cannot have a child, people look down on you. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. And guess what? The Bible let us know here in the 19 verse. It said, you know, and then she came in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord. Can you imagine she had a petition and God wasn't coming to for her, but she had a worship. Have a yeah, worship. worship. So if you wait Lord. and you pray your hands, third man, you, you, you have a problem. You worship God regardless. Amen. Hey, come on now. Amen. Amen. Based on how you feel and you worship God because he's worthy. <laughs> The worst because he's the great and awesome and mighty God. That's right. And the Bible said in the 19th verse, man, because she worshiped, the Bible said that the Lord remember Hannah. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord remembered Hannah. Not, not only did the Lord remember Hannah, but the Bible said that she and had a son. Petition. She had a son. God request. God gave her a request. Yes. Amen. Amen. And all she prayed for church. Listen to me carefully. I want you to get this. Oh, she prayed for Sister Hadburn and Church Brethren. Yes. That God would give her a child. Hallelujah. That's right. But the Lord gave me this word for somebody, you know. She was praying specifically for one child. But by the time you get to the second chapter, verse number 21, the Bible said that he gave her three sons. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a fivefold blessing coming for a young lady. I don't know who you are watching me, but the Lord said to tell you, you're praying for one thing, but there's five things coming your way. Oh, Lord Jesus. And we are wondering how long, how long you going to hide your face from me. My God. How long will you forget me? Yes. How long will my enemy exalt or triumph over me? Yes. Whatever the thing that is, is your kingdom, man. Whatever the thing that is coming, man. The Lord said to tell that he's still there because he's a man that he cannot lie. Yes. He's a man that he should repent. Yes. Even though you see that your prayer is not being answered, sometimes the children not do what they are to do. But yes. Yes. The Lord said to tell him man, that the prayer has been answered. Where is God when you need him? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 14 and 15. Quickly, take your notes, man. Isaiah chapter 49. Verse 14 and 15. Are you have it? Yes. All right, look at what it says. But 14, but Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me and my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? They, they may forget Yet will I not no. okay. <laughs> the Lord Amen. said in this in this in this in the verse here, he can a woman forget her suckling child? Yes. Oh. And the Lord said, just in case that the mother do forget her suckling child. Mm -hmm. The God said, Yet I won't forget you. Yes, That's said. impossible for me to forget you because I have you in the palm of my hand. Hallelujah. You don't see me because I am committed to you. <laughs> I have you in the power of man. It's not in my DNA to forget about you. As much as your mother and father forsake you, the Bible said the Lord will take you Hallelujah. you in the palm of your hand. It's impossible for God to forget about you as his daughter or his son. 
Amen. Amen. Praise God. Bless him, Holy so even though I can't see God, even though I can't trace God, even though I don't know how hands going to make, I don't know what tomorrow is hope for me, God said you are my child, and I cannot forget about you, because I made up. Praise the Lord. Yeah. David is re reacting based on how he feels. The Apostle Paul tells us that the believer lives by faith and not by sight. Right. God. Nowhere in the scripture he says that the believer lives on feeling. No. No. Nowhere in the scripture he tells us that the church, the believer of Christ, lives on feeling because sometimes I don't feel like praying. Sometimes I don't feel like doing this. Sometimes I don't feel like doing that. But when I think about Jesus and all that he has done for me, my son, hallelujah, I thank God for saving me. Amen. So David finds himself and he questions to God all along. Goes on in, in Psalms 22, the first verse. He says, he, he said, my God, my God. Why are I have you know, thou forsaken me. David felt that like God had forsook him. Yes. It's mm. impossible for God mm. to leave his children. My God. It's impossible for God to leave his children. Oh, yes. That's all right. Jacob got himself in trouble with his brother Esau. And his mother told him, listen, you can't no longer stay in this also because Esau is about to kill you. The Bible said that Jacob decided to leave to go stay with his uncle Laban. Genesis chapter 28. Man. And mm -hmm. when he's going that night, catch him and he found a place that he's going to sleep and spend the night. Not in a, in, in a, in a, in a motel. Mm -hmm. Bible said that he sleep and he found some stones. Stone, yes. And he used the stone to make his feel mean that Jacob was in a stone oh, no. place. And while he's in that stony place, can you imagine he's sleeping and he used rock stone to make his pillow? Hey, no pillow. Mm. stone to make their pillow. You use mm. a comfort, something cushion, something soft to put at your head to sleep. And the Bible said that, that, that Jacob used stone for his pillow. And while he's in that place, the Lord gives him a dream. And he said in that dream, he said he saw a ladder straight from the earth, straight into heaven. And mm -hmm. I ladder, and saw angel ascending and descending and, and, descending. and, up. and when God had a conversation and said, Jacob, you know, I'm ready to bless you now. Yeah. When he wake up in the morning, Jacob said, I cannot believe that God was in this place. That's right. He was there, but I know it not. Don't see, we don't understand that God is. Hey, glory to God. Amen. He could not believe that God was there because he's running away from home because he tricked his brother Esau. And even though he's on a run because God has a plan and purpose for his life, for his life. God was there behind him. And God put him to sleep and gave him a dream and showed up in a rocky place that he never yeah. believed that God was there. That's right, amen. Mighty God. Sometimes we don't believe that God is there because if God was there, how could I feel what I'm feeling? Mm, he's always there. How could I feel the suffering? How could I be going through this difficult situation? <sighs> I'm, living, I'm living life on the edge. I'm living from paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. Within the last three, four months, all I've been getting is just bad news. It just seems like it just seems like everything is going topsy turvy in my life. Yes. But regardless of how you feel, my assignment is to let you know that God is a very present help in time of trouble. Oh, bless the Lord. Because he did promise that he will never leave you nor forsake him. So even though you don't feel, I can't see God is still working. <laughs> That's why he said to Isaiah, he says, can a mother leaves her suckling? Okay. Maybe the answer is yeah, because sometimes we see people have kids and maybe they sort of can't afford it and they maybe turn it over to child services or whatever it is. But God said, no, even if I wanted to, I can't do it because it's not in my DNA. That's not part of my characteristic because I am God. 
not leaving us alone. You were praying for one thing, man, but the Lord sent me to preach and let you know that there's five four blessing coming your way. Hallelujah. Let go of your heart. If you believe in God, believe in me also. Yes. Mm. He promised that he will supply all your need according to oh, Hallelujah. So oh, Jacob, Jacob realized. Jacob realized that God was in that place, even though he was in their place, a place that he did not know that God was. Yes. Because he's leaving Canaan to go to see his uncle, and he didn't believe that God was there with him. Was, but man. when God has a plan and purpose for your life, and God has a way strategically to come and minister to you, how can they preach except they are sent? They sent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a five-four blessing right now at your door. I don't know who I'm preaching to. You're asking for one child. And I was asking for one child. God gave her three sons and two daughters. The Lord tell me to tell him, and there's a five-four blessing coming your way. Yes, amen. Amen. Sister Hasburn, give me Acts chapter five, Sister Hasburn. Acts five. I'm sorry, first, first John. First, first John chapter five. five. First John 5, 14 and 15. Yes. And, it, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hears us whatsoever we ask, we know that we will have the petition <laughs> That we desire of him. Saying, we have the confidence. Yes. We yes. have the confidence in God, knowing that when we cry out to him. Yes. We have the confidence in the Lord, when we cry out that he hears us. And because he hears us according to his will. The Bible said in the 15th verse that we have the petition that we desire. That's yes. the desire from God. The Lord said to tell you that it's coming five ways. Hey, glory. Praise the Lord. In the, 15, in the 15th verse that she just read, the Bible said petitions. petitions. There's an S and petition. So you are asking for a specific thing. But the yes. Lord said to tell you that it's coming fivefold. Five, oh, glory to God. All right. All right. Amen. So we receive it in the name of Jesus. You are asking for financial blessing. But he's sending healing. He's sending restoration. Oh. All right. That's right. Praise he's God. Some of our families are torn apart. And hey, and he Praise, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to bring a fight for blessing. Reunite your oh. families, some children. Oh, my God. Oh. Amen. That joy. She yes. says, count it all yes. the joy yes. and find yourself. Lord. Yes. Count it all a job oh, yeah. and you find yourself in these trials. Hallelujah. Count it all a job when you find yourself against the wall. Count it Praise all a job when you find yourself going to the doctor. The doctor is giving you a false report. That's Count it all a job when you find yourself in all these various trials. Oh, yeah. Because I have you in the palm of my hand. Mm -hmm. I promise that I will never leave you nor forsake you because I am God. Oh, I keep God. my covenant. I keep my word. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In the first chapter, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah tell my folks that I'm going to hasten my word to perform it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the young lady, you know, but there's a lady you've been seeking God. And I got up this morning, Bishop Fox, and I look at my cable back, sir. And it was 2.24. I look at the time, I said 2.24 in the morning that the Holy Ghost awoke me, sir. Mm -hmm. And I told my wife, I said, I got up this morning, 2.24. And I got this word for this young lady. There's a fivefold blessing coming to you. Praise God. All the crying that you've been crying and think that God had forsook you. Jesus. God has not forsook you, man. Amen. Mm. Jesus. Don't you know that David became king not only over Judah? Jordan became Jordan, uh, David became king over the entire province of Israel, you know? This yeah. was the same David 
same David who said, God, where have you? You, you have forsaken me. The same David who said, you forget me. The same David said, oh, long you hide your face from me. The same mm. David said, oh, long I take counsel in my soul. The same David said, how long is my enemy exalted? The same David became king. But David had to walk to the valley of the shadow of death to realize and say, I will fear. Hallelujah. No. God is there in the storm. That's right. God. Mighty God. Peter and the brethren, when they were on the boat and Jesus was sleeping, they woke him up from his sleep and said, Master, Master, cares that we perish. Jesus said, Are you kidding me? You have little faith. Mm. You cannot. As long as Christ is in my life, mm. when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Bible said the spirit of the Lord. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. If he said it in his word, God is able to perform his word in my life. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Count it all a joy when you find yourself. Praise God. My wife said earlier, she said, someone put some money in, in, in the account. <laughs> mm. Sometimes, you know, you think that God is going to bless you one way. Or other. And sometimes it come from another way, you know. Another source, yeah. Amen. All right, amen. That's no, right. You know, in, the, in, in these difficult times, it's very rare you find people stretch their hand in a sister husband. Uh, yes, sir. Something, man. When God go and bless him, and him already go working on the heart of somebody, you know. Amen. That's what God said. Don't be careful to interdrain state stranger because sometimes you don't know who God going to use, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes the person may come from a far place, come yeah. to your door instead of mistake. Yes, sir. Amen. Pastor Spence just gave the analogy about the, the homeless man that he went to. And when he gave the man the food, you know what the man said? The man Jesus. said, Cry out to Jesus. The scripture yes. said, When I was hungry, nobody feed me. When I was That's naked, right. nobody Amen. told me. Mm. You don't know who that person was there, you know? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on now. Maybe that man was just pretending to be homeless, you know? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But Pastor spent so a need. Yes, sir. And he propelled his heart. He go home and cook the food. Are you hear what the man just yes. said? He Amen. went up and cooked the food and went back. And when he went back, only one he saw when he gave the man the food. Right the man said, Jesus. Hey, yeah. That hey, could be an angel hey. that he saw, you know. Pastor, hey. an angel, you know. Man. You don't know that that was even an angel sent from God to test you. Amen. That's all right. That's right. The Hebrew writer said, yes, man. Sometimes we entertain strangers. Strangers. Our angels. And in the rear. That's Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Bless the Lord. That's why the wisest man who ever lived, Sister Hasburn, the wisest man ever lived, he says, Trust in the Lord with heart in your heart. Lean not. 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 And he will direct your path. And he will direct your path. You and I cannot serve God with our feelings, Amen. Sister Paul. Amen. Amen. We cannot serve God with the way how we feel. All right. No. God operate on how we feel. He operates on our faith. Yes. Amen. Faith without works, the Bible says, dead. dead. That's and right. Then, Amen. So even though I don't know how the rent don't pay tonight. Yes, that's right. I don't know how the mortgage going to pay this week. Yes. I don't know how the car note going to pay because I'm out of a job. Yes, sir. And it's been nine months now or nine weeks now. Unemployment hasn't showed up, you know. And mm. I'm worried about my credit being messed up. Amen. God That's said right. to tell you that because you're in his hand. Amen. He is obligated to supply uh, your need. God of heaven said that he uh, will supply your need. All God in his riches. Whose will you believe? 
Report of the Lord. Question he asked. Whose report would you believe? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise My God. God. So Hannah was praying. He had two wives. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Every single day she was ridiculing the woman of God. Mm -hmm. And she got to a place where life just seemed like it turned her back against her. Impossible. So when you look at this story, you notice that she was still going to church. She was still having her praise and her worship. Yes. In so much that when the priest, when the priest saw her, he really? thought that she was drunk. Yes. Right. <laughs> still keeping connection. He actually thought that she was drunk, not realizing that she was desperate and she was praying from the depth of her heart. Amen. Mm. Amen. So why do you think the Bible says, he says, men look at the old world up here, but yes. God looks at the old world. He thought that her heart was desperate. He thought that she was desperate. And because of the affliction, the Bible said that God gave her three sons and two daughters. And two daughters. Hallelujah. My Praise God. be to God. My God. Praise be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And I knew it not. And so in Matthew chapter 26. Matthew chapter 26. I want to read something to you. Matthew chapter 26. Verse 25. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6. Okay. Look at verse 24. Are you there? Amen. Yes. Matthew, look, at look, at look at 25. Yes. Are you there? Yes. Make sure you take your notes, you know. Take your notes, please. And it says here, therefore I say unto you. Hello, Sister Raggy. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. Therefore I say unto you. <laughs> he said, take no thought for your life. Yes. Take no thought for what you eat. That's yes. right. Take no thought for what you drink. Amen. Take no thought for what you wear. Yes. Yes. Verse 30, look at verse 32. He says, for all these things the Gentiles seek, for yeah. your heavenly Father, which knoweth that they have need of all these things. Let me say it again. For all these things do the Gentiles seek, for mm -hmm. your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need yeah, of all these all things. Need. So all the things that you need, the Lord said to tell you, take no thought for your life. Amen. Take no thought for what you eat. Oh, take no right. thought for what you drink. Take no thought for the because I already know the oh, things that you need, the and I promise I will Jesus. supply your needs. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. God does not work on based on how you feel. Yes. Mm -hmm. David had a subjective prayer because he was basing it on how he felt. Amen. God promised That's me that right. he take care of those things. Sometimes we stress it too much, man. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. Take no thought for your life. Can you imagine that? The God you serve said, Don't worry about your life because I am the one that's responsible for your, your life. Your life is in his hand. That's why Solomon says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. However, in all your way, acknowledge him. And he shall direct him. Acknowledge him. And he will direct your life. Yes. Yeah. Help me, Holy Ghost. Yes, Holy Amen. Lord. Praise the Lord. You are, you know. Bless him, Jesus. I don't know who this young lady, but I have good news for you today. Cover him under your blood, Lord. That young lady, the Lord said to tell you, man, the fivefold blessing is coming. I don't know what you've been praying for, you know. Mm. Amen. But we said yeah. the confidence that we have. No, your oh, hands are that when you ask something according to his will, then you know you have a petition of what you desire of him. 
When God shows up and the miracle happens, I would love for you to come back and give a testimony. Amen. Even if you're not a member of Faith Temple Church, find some ways and means. Yes. And give a testimony, not to let us feel good, but just to glorify God. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Just to talk of his goodness. Goodness, yes. And so, Deacon Paul, we'll look at the conclusion of David. He started to sing in verse 6, man. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Bless the Lord. He started to sing, you know, the sea and David that was complaining and, and said, we and When you look at the last verse there, Bishop, David started to sing and said, the Lord has dealt with me bountifully. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. He's lamenting. He's lamenting in the introduction of, of, of this song or the poem. But in his conclusion, he said, God has blessed me bountifully. Oh, yes. uh, for blessing is coming at your door. Are you hear what I'm preaching? Amen. Oh, Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. The flower of faith, his word stand forever. Yes. Hallelujah. The word of God is not intent for the way we feel. No. Amen. Not at all. Even when things not going our way, church, find a place. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. When things is not going our way, I will ask of you to find a praise. Regardless. Yes. I saw that the summer is coming and they talk about, you know, how the virus may continually spread. And I would say to the brethren, of course you want to be the careful. Amen. Places we go and what we do. Well, let me yes. tell you something, man. When, when the hand of God is on your life, mm -hmm. it's not about what you think, man. It's about what yeah. God says about you. Amen. God says in Isaiah chapter 41, God said, I have you in the palm of my hand. Oh, oh, my God. God. Me, and I'm committed to keep you wherever you go. Yes. Take a proof to us that no matter where we go, God is there yes. with us. Amen. And he told Jeremiah, he said, Jeremiah, tell the church that I will ace my word to perform mm. it. Amen. Uh, let every man be alive, but let God be true. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. That's right. Amen. Five, four, three, come. You know, Lord. the word of God. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Just going to ask you to stand to your feet, church. Praise the Lord. Bless your name. Just bless your name, Lord. Bless Glory to God. And so bless when we look at when we look at when we look at David and we say to ourselves, I said, David, you know, in his biography, we know, know that David, as a young man, had a heart that desired God. Oh, yeah. David was anointed, but then, but David got to a point in his life, and so when you look at this, 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 this song that he, he penned here, or, or, or this prayer that he prayed, we see that David was in a desperate place. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where you are if you're in a desperate place even now, but look. clear the hill, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And it's like, come to all the jaw when you find yourself mm -hmm. in this situation. And that's why I believe that in First Peter, somewhere in the fourth chapter there, Peter said, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed because you can still glorify God even on okay. this behalf. Yeah. So even though I don't see what is happening, even though my life is so complex, my, my, my life is so curvy. And so I can take a page out of the Apostle Paul oh. when he wrote Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. He, 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 he said, I have trouble on every side. Right. 
but yet I'm not despair. Yeah, Perplexed, yeah. but I'm not despair. Persecuted, but I'm not forsaken. Cast down, but I'm not destroyed because yeah. I know who God is. Yeah. He had an encounter with God on the road to Damascus, and knew no matter what came his way, he was still able to trust God. Amen. What I'm saying. And while he was even going to make his case to Caesar, he got to this place and he got, got stung by a, a snake, a viper snake. A viper. And they're expecting Paul to die because anybody that snake, that would bite. Amen. That person never survived. Yeah. Amen. So I wonder how comes Paul never died when the smoke when that snake bit Paul? Because God. the hand of God was on Paul. Was Amen. Paul would have died even though the snake bit him. So you are worrying about the COVID-19 and even if there's a upsurgency in the next coming months or whatnot, God says you are my child and even though mother forsake you and even though your mother gave you away God says it's not in my DNA that I couldn't even right. give you away even if I wanted to I could not do it because you are my child yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. So even if I can't understand the complexity of my life sometimes we don't understand the timing of God uh -huh. yes. I say that we have the confidence mm -hmm. we have the confidence Whatever we ask of him according to his will, yes. we have what we ask for. Yes. A petition yeah. that we desire of him, we have yeah. it. Mm. I hope you were blessed today. Amen. Amen. Praise I God. Hope you were encouraged. Praise God. Amen. Because you and I oh, are God. Child of God. Just before I take my seat and I hand this over. To pass a Spence. There's a young lady. There's a young lady there, you know. Yeah. And you don't you don't even have to wave your hand or acknowledge it. But I see that this breast cancer thing want to come in. You know? I see that this breast cancer thing. So I want you, if you can just lay your hand on your chest. Are you listening? Listen to what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm preaching to you, know, but I don't know where you are, but there's a young lady. You don't know yet, but I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14 and 15 go like this. He says, heal me and I shall be healed. Heal me and I shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Because thou art my praise. Let the word of the Lord come now. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes. I take authority in the power of your word. The mm -hmm. anointing and the gift that you have placed on my life. I yes. pray for this young lady right now. Oh, name yes, of Lord. Jesus. No, not by your stripes. We are yes. healed. By your Praise stripes, you have already been healed. Because you were wounded for our transgression. Yes. You were bruised for our iniquities. Yes. Oh, chastisement. Peace. you. And by your stripes. Yes. We are here. We are here. I bind up the work of the enemy right now in the right. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. All the cancer of the enemy Jesus. by name in the name of Jesus. Jesus. And I say, Amen. back up cancer in the name of Jesus. Oh, the son of Jesus, if I hate you now, I cancel the work of darkness now. Yes. Right. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Be coming. To steal and to kill and to destroy, but yes. Jesus comes oh, to the man. And yes. I'm going to oh, okay. <laughs> asking for the abundant life now to fall afresh. Yes. You have given us authority, you have given us power to yes. work on the prophet. Nothing by means of the enemy shall harm us. And I pray for my sister now that healing would already be abundantly yes. more in the name of Jesus. Oh, okay. Claim healing. Healing is the children's bread. Healing oh, yes. oh, the of God. Healer right now. I set her free from this cancer in the name of Jesus. The blood oh, of Jesus. 
and to the soul of us, I claim healing now and set us free. Somebody show us the Hallelujah. 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 We thank you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Spencer Reddy. Thank you so much for joining in. To everyone that came on, I thank you so much. And I hope you were blessed by the word of God today. Amen. David, David had to have gone through that series in his life. Amen to have gone through that series in her life. Mm. Anna had five children. She only asked for one. Mm. David not only became kingdom over the southern kingdom, but he came king over the southern and northern kingdom. Amen. Amen. God is for you. Who can be against you? Hey, praise God. We are talking us. So I say to the brethren, man, I say to the brethren, Amen. let God be troubled. Don't worry. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Don't oh, worry yes. and ask the question, where is God? God is right there in the midst of the storm. Amen. God is right there in your living room. Amen. God is with you. Amen. And if we can learn from oh, Jacob, from Jacob, no matter how a place might be so rocky and stony. God is there. No matter how a place may feel like a loneliness. I'm going through loneliness. I'm going through all of these dilemmas in my life. Mm -hmm. But let me remind you that God is with you. Amen. He tells us that he will never leave us not forsake us. Not forsake us. I don't care how I get. But remember that God is not a man that he should lie. And I came to pronounce a blessing. And I hope you receive it today. And I thank you for coming on. And I hope you were blessed. And I say to you, have a wonderful afternoon. Have a blessed week. And thank you so much. And God bless you. Pastor Spence. Same to you. Thanks. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Oh, glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Thank you. Amen. So I ask Bishop to conclude and um and close the service. I just want to say to God, thank you, God, for your son. It was poured out, oh God. Almighty God. It was poured out to your people. God. Mighty God, I pray today, Savior, that you will pour back into him yes. that which he has let out, oh mighty Savior. Oh my God. So that he will be strong. Oh mighty God. Replenish him, eternal Father. Yes. So that he will have strength again. Yes, Lord. Go out again to your people. Mighty God, yes. Let's yes. he go along, oh God, life's journey. Mm. Let the family, oh mighty God. Yes. Oh God, cover them under your wing. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray today. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise the Lord. God. Praise God. Bishop, to conclude for us. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. God bless you, saints. We give God thanks for his word to our hearts today. It's so powerful and so well meant and so timely. Mm. We are grateful to God because we know that David was just a human like all of us. All of us. And he was met with trials and disaster. But thank God he had a way. Mm hope and a trust. He had somebody to lean on. Yes. We are being reminded by God's servant that even though we may go to the valley of the shadow of death, there is a rock. Mm. A hole. And we can find because you could see that in as much as David in the desperation was trying to have build his faith and to look at what had happened prior and to see where he's at now and to call upon his God. Amen. That means he knew God and yeah. knew the power of God 
And why would he call on somebody else when he knows his deliverer comes? That's why at the latter part of the same um, travail that he was having, he began to shout praises and give God thanks. Guess why? Mm. The shoulder to lead on. Mm. Even the rock in, which, in which he could hide. Oh, yeah. uh, bless God, because he knows that his God would mm. never lose him. There's yes. sometimes when we're going through a situation, the way is dark and maybe very slippery. There's no nothing to hold on, and no you cannot even see. But I know that my Redeemer liveth. Glory bless the Lord. And uh, as I convey this message so well, ministered to our hearts today, I just pray that God will see um, the hearts of those who are crying and desiring to be satisfied with his presence and with his fullness. And I know God hear our prayer today as we look to God on our personal behalf and on the behalf of all others, because there may be somebody, amen, and as a preacher, identify that there's a special need somewhere and I can endorse that. Whatever the need is, look to the hills from whence cometh your help. Yes. And God is endorsing you to say, I heard your cry. Amen. And I'm sending my force from heaven and from earth to address those needs so you mm. can continue to have hope and be blessed. Mm. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless the preacher too for listening to God and for hearing from him. Amen. Yes. Time when God wants to speak, but if we are not hearing from God, how can we speak on the behalf mm. of God? Yes. But thank God for the word today, so timely and so meaningful and so powerfully done. Yeah. All and I enjoy listening to the message I would listen to over again. Amen. And praise God. Put our hands together for the word of God. Amen. Amen. Glory. Heavenly Father, we look to you by faith and we honor your word. We honor uh, your servant who brought your word, God. We convey it to the feet of all those who should sup from it and all God drink from it. It is the water mm. of life which is freely given. And our oh, God, your word said, everyone who take of this water shall have eternal life, eternal hope, eternal joy, eternal satisfaction. Just like David did. At the answer of it all, God, you reveal to him that. He is fortified with an answer. Send the answer, God, we pray, with some longing hearts. Heal some. Oh, yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, meet some needs that are so demanding that we are wondering what happened to the source. The Lord is my source. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yet, how come the world seems so dark? Yes, because, Father God, the enemy is seeking to help us to lose our faith in God. But thank God David said, where is the Lord? He mm. knows that he's there. But thank God he's a rock. And all we have to do is to continue to call upon him. Amen. And the more we call, is the nearer he will come to our answer. Thank you for the answer, Lord. We feel it's done today and we convey to all your children who listen and who are in need. And I beg you, God, to let it be a witness and a blessing for the church of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There's a lighthouse on the hillside that overlooks the sea. When I'm tossed, it's in the a light that I might see And the light that shines in darkness now Safely lead a soar If it was for the light of my ship would be no more And I thank God for Oh